All right, what up, people? Welcome back to the channel. It's your favorite couple. Wait, your favorite YouTube couple, Claire and yeah, Drew. you got it. Sorry, my brain is kind of mush. I just uh -huh. got done recording like eight videos in a row. But anyways, what we're doing today is going to be really cool for this guy and really unfortunate for Claire because by the title of the video, you know exactly what we're doing. We are going to determine which pizza fast food restaurant is the best. And how we're going to do this is I'm going to be blindfolded. Claire yes. obviously can't uh, have the pizza. Yeah, she can't partake in the tasting of the pizzas yes. because she is a vegan or plant-based and pizza is not plant-based because it's got cheese, got eggs all over it. It's got meat, like egg in the dough, right? Or is that not mm, a... Not usually. Oh, well, anyways, the three pizzas we are going to be taste testing today, or I'm going to be taste testing today, are... Domino's, Pizza Hut, Little Caesars, and I picked them all up. Yeah, she did. Boom. Bang. And yeah, it's only three because we think those are like the three like uh like stereotypical fast food pizzas. Yeah, like, we we're debated not including... we debated Papa John's for a while, but then we were like, no, let's keep it to the three. Yeah. Like Papa John's is a little bougie, and we're not gonna get like some deep dish pizza from old Chicago. Like yeah. that doesn't count. No. These are cheap fast, fast food pizzas. pizzas that we're gonna see today, which is the best. And the three categories that we are going to be rating these on are so it's taste. The feeling of the pizza, like if it's soggy, if it's firm, you know, and then I think smell. I'm going to smell it. Oh, okay. You know, right? I think that's a good thing. You know, I don't know. Pizza smells good. It probably tastes good. We'll find out. But that's the rules of this episode. I will be blindfolded the whole time from here until the end. And Claire is going to be keeping track of my scores. And it's going to be out of 10. Yeah. So like the most you could get is 30. Yeah. So 10 for taste, 10 for smell, 10 for feeling, I guess. Let's just, let's just do it. All right, let's do this thing. Let's eat some freaking pizzas. Yeah! I'm so excited for some pizza. All right, pizza. first up we have... I'm so excited. Oh, my God. Mm. Woo! Okay, we're just ripping the piece apart. Here you go. Smell. Am I, is my mic right here? Okay. Yeah. Smell. What's it smell like? I'm not really getting... And these are all pepperoni, right? Yes. I'm not really getting any pepperoni. I'm only getting like a very, like... Small amount of cheese. Mm, interesting. Love the nose. Yeah, it really doesn't have much smell. So honestly, on the smell scale, I'm gonna give it a two. Oh, okay. Like, Let me get really my phone out and type that out. Yeah, okay. it's it's got absolutely no smell. So you're giving the smell a two out of ten. Feel this is horrible. Oh. Like it doesn't feel cooked, and these aren't these haven't been sitting out for like an hour. No, I, I literally for like, just picked them up. Yeah, they've probably been sitting out for like 10, 20 minutes. So the feel is horrible. I'm giving the feel like a four. Wow. I guess. But then again, it just feels like skinny, and the okay. bottom's like kind of like okay. soggy, kind of okay. And now the most important one, the taste. Ooh. Mmm, pizza. I'm mm. so jealous. Like why? Mm. You ranked it very low on the smell. Very low on the feel. Now, is the taste gonna be different? It tastes like pretty generic. Okay. Like, but it's pretty good. It's got good flavor, okay. but it's pretty generic. Okay. So like the feeling of it isn't great, but the taste is pretty good. Okay. I'll give this a 7.3. A 7.3, people. 7.3 on taste. You have a lot of pizza to eat, Andrew. Do you think I can't handle two more slices? <laughs> Wait, so you have the total scores for that one? Yes. Okay. You're the best host ever. We should do this more Thank often. Thank you. Thank you. We should do this with ice cream. Mm, I can already smell this one. My God. It is a, it is a very strong scent. Wow. Mm, I can't wait. Okay. It's in front of you. Woo! Hey, does anyone else struggle closing pizza boxes or is it just This feels me? significantly lighter. Okay. Hold on. Andrew, I don't know how to close pizza boxes. Okay, got it. Got it. Good job, babe. Yeah, that one smells way better. It smells garlicky though, so I'm assuming that's coming off the crust. Oh yeah, that does have much better smell. Okay, I'm gonna give the smell on this one a 6.9. A 6.9, is that ironic? Yes it is, that is what she said, people. Oh, this one feels way better. Oh, I almost just dropped it. Don't drop it. Yeah, this one feels way better. Okay. Like it feels like actual crust, not okay. more like Play-Doh. Interesting. Oh yeah, this is a very yeah, this is a good crust. Mm -hmm. This is like a this is like an eight on the crust. Wow. Yeah, that crust is so very good. So that's feel. You're giving it an eight, right? Yep. An eight out of ten on the crust. All right, here's a taste. He's thinking, he's pondering his thoughts. What does this taste like? Is it your typical average pepperoni pizza or is it more? Is there something special about this? What are these flavors I'm tasting? Dough, garlic, pepperoni, mozzarella, uh, marinara? The sauce on this one 
Ooh, saucy. Is a little much. I feel like the sauce. Ah, was not expecting you to say that. Is overpowering the cheese. Like you could honestly tell me there's no cheese on this and I believe you. I didn't get any cheese, oh. barely any pepperoni, but the sauce I think is what's doing it. So I don't feel I should, I should dock it too much. Okay. But then again, if I'm going for a pepperoni pizza and I don't taste the pepperoni, I'm kind of upset. Mm. So I'm going to give the taste a uh, five. Wow. Okay. But the smell is incredible. The crust is really good too. It's just the cheese. The marinara was overpowering. Still good pizza though. I mean, it's hard to get. If any slice of pizza gets below a... Uh, did you just fall down? How did you fall down? I'm such an idiot. When we were talking about this, I was thinking Papa Murphy's, not Papa John's. Uh, well, that's Papa why John I was like, what oh, do you mean? My. It's not bougie. Papa John's is 100% fast food. Yeah. I was thinking Papa Murphy's, like where you take it home and you put it in the oven. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. All right, for the last one. Okay. Oh. Okay, this, this is definitely the best smell. Oh, really? Where is it? Oh, here it is. Wait, can I smell it? smells doughy like yeah this doesn't smell like garlic and it doesn't smell like the first one where it had like no smell this smells like pizza mm, maybe not this one smells more bread wow yeah. they all three had very different that is crazy you it would think from... they just all smell the same because it's just yeah. like pepperoni pizza the first one smelled like nothing the second one smelled like garlic this one kind of smells like bread so i guess i'm gonna give this a five okay like it's not bad but it's not like wow that smells so good okay the feeling feels a little burnt like it feels like <sighs> You know what this feels like? What? A pretzel. Like a soft... Interesting. Like a soft pretzel. Okay. And I don't think I want that for my crust. You feel that? It does kind of feel right? like a soft pretzel. Okay. So feeling, I think I'm going to give this a five too. Okay. It is a mediocre pizza so far across the board. <laughs> oh. Hmm. <laughs> that looks great. I'm really disappointed. That is like the flattest. Look how flat that is. Yeah, it's very... Wow. Like, this, this isn't thin crust, right? It's just normal pizza? Yeah. I have no idea if I'm looking at the camera. You are. Like, that is a, that is the weakest pizza pizza. I know. When they showed me it, I was like, mmm. Like, there's, like, nothing Yummy. on it. Okay, what are you giving it taste? Pepperoni's pretty good on it. Okay, one. okay. It definitely has the best pepperoni, but easily the worst of them. I'm giving it... I would give it a two. Okay. But since the pepperoni's good, it's getting a 3.5. Okay. Because that is, like, there's nothing there. It's like they put, like, a piece of paper... Mm -hmm. And then just sprinkle a little bit of cheese and put a really good piece of pepperoni on it. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, while Andrew finishes that mediocre pizza, I'm going to count up all his totals. And we are going to find out who is the best pizza pepperoni. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, and yeah, me and Claire were kind of talking right there. We, we have kind of came to the realization I was a pretty harsh critic. Very harsh. And like <laughs> all three of these places... Like, I would eat yes. 100% of the time. And have like, eaten. Yeah, and like, because this is just good, cheap pizza. If it's near your house, yeah, that's kind of how I choose. I'm not like, oh, I'd rather have this than this one. But, um, but yeah, there's definitely way better pizza out there. Like, yeah. I've had way better pizza. I'm going to say a name, and then you're going to say what you would give it its overall rating, and then I'll tell you what you gave it. Okay. And I'm not going to do it in the order you ate it. First one that is up is Domino's. Now, see, if I had to choose one of the three, I feel like I would choose Domino's. Okay. Just from history, I feel okay. like it's the best. I would probably, out of 30, I would be surprised. And I literally can't even remember what I graded these. That's good. I would say it was probably like a like a 20 okay. points overall. And Domino's. your overall rating for Domino's, which was... Wait, I don't want to know yet. Oh. Because I feel like... Oh, okay, because then you can like yeah. do process of yeah. elimination. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Next up, we have Little Caesars. Little Caesars, it's really slept on. And I, I wish, would agree. I wish we could have somehow did price because there's it was the cheapest yeah, one, right? Yeah, so cheap. It was like it's, six bucks or that's something. That's like six bucks compared to like 10 plus. Well, and you just walk in, you ask for yeah. it, and it's right there. Yeah. So if that was a factor, which is not because that wasn't part no. of it, um, it would probably be above Domino's. But if Domino's got a 20, I'd have to give Little Caesars like a 17. Okay. Five. Okay. Yeah, because I mean, if you think about it, if you can get a pizza that cheap, it's not good stuff. No. And I'm just really curious as to which one was which. Like, I want to know because I feel like that was the second one. Maybe? Okay. I don't know. I don't All know. All right. All right. And last but certainly not least, Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. I'm not a fan of Pizza Hut. No, you are not. It's. 
probably my least favorite. So if Little Caesars got, what did I give it, a 17.5? Yes. I would be stunned if Pizza Hut got above a 14.6. Okay, 14.6, very random number. <laughs> but yeah, I think I think 14.6 is a good spot. All right, the first pizza that you ate was Little Caesars. Mm. You gave it an overall rating of a 13.3 out of 30. You said that the smell was the worst out of two. The feel was... Le less than average out of four, but the taste was about a 7.3 for you. So that was a wor so smell wise, I gave it worse than the other two pizzas. Yes. And then taste was where was it in the ranking? Uh, the highest. Little Caesars had the best taste? Yeah. Are you kidding me? No. Oh my God. Okay, that's crazy. <laughs> All right. And the next pizza that you ate was Domino's. Okay. Domino's. You gave an overall rating of a 19.9 out of 30, and you said that you would give it a 20 out of 30. So that was pretty wow. spot on. I love this announcer voice that I'm going to do. Thank you. Wait, so where was Domino's on taste? Taste, you gave it a five, because that's the one that you said the marinara was too strong, and you couldn't test, taste pepperoni or cheese. So was that above Pizza Hut? Please tell me that was above Pizza Hut. I we'll find out. I haven't revealed Pizza Hut God. yet. All right. Pizza Hut was the last pizza that you tasted. Thank God. Thank you God. You gave it an overall rating of a 13.5, which means it beat Little Caesars. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. But you said that you would be so surprised at yourself if you ever rated it over a 14.6. So in that aspect, you did win a little bit. Um, All these numbers are so confusing. <laughs> I don't know what's being said. Okay, so blindfolded, what was the best? Blindfolded, the best overall was Domino's. Okay. Then Little Caesars. Oh, thank God. Then Pizza Hut at the lowest rating of taste with a 3.5. Wow, was that confusing? I feel <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay, so by the looks of it, Domino's is the best. Domino's is the best. Second is Little Caesars. Yeah, well, there you have it. Let us know in the comment section below how you would rate all three of these. Yeah. One, two, three, give us your rating. And uh, give us your rating out of 30 as well. Because yeah. I feel like mine were pretty spot on. I was pretty harsh, but I've had some pretty good pizzas. That's true. So if you guys have any other ideas like this one that we can do, maybe one that Claire can uh, be a part of as well. Yeah, please. Jeez Louise. Or not. Your choice. Just uh, let us know in the comment section below. But we are out of here. Make sure before you leave to like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.